What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Macklin, a.k.a. Money Mike, the financial Thanos, because I'm snapping my fingers and I'm turning your financial problems to dust. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about some tax saving strategies for small business owners. As a small business owner myself, I thought it would be helpful to my fellow entrepreneurs out there trying to get started to learn some important money saving strategies. If you find this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button for me and consider subscribing to the channel. Also hit the notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. But if you are ready to get started, I'm definitely ready. Let's go. On the night I was born, the rain was pouring. God was crying, lightning struck, power out, his sparks was flying, the real ones. Hey there, small business owner. I've got some awesome tax saving strategies that can help you keep more money in your pocket. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Now, the first strategy that I want you to use is to take advantage of business deductions. Make sure you keep track of all your business expenses, such as office supplies, travel expenses, and even home office expenses if you work from home. These deductions can significantly reduce your taxable income. Now, next up, I want you to consider setting up a retirement plan for yourself and your employees. Contributions to retirement plans like a SEP IRA or a solo 401k are tax deductible and they can help you save for the future by lowering your taxable expenses. Another great strategy is to explore the benefits of hiring family members. If you have family members who can contribute to your business, hiring them can provide tax advantages. You can deduct their wages as a business expense and it can also help shift income to a lower tax bracket for you. Additionally, consider the Section 179 deduction. This allows you to deduct the full cost of qualifying equipment or software purchases in the year that they are placed in service rather than depreciating them over time. It's a great way to invest in your business while reducing your tax liability. Lastly, make sure you stay on top of estimated tax payments. As a small business owner, you may need to pay estimated taxes throughout the year to avoid penalties. Keeping track of your income and expenses and making timely payments can help you avoid any surprises come tax time. Now remember, these strategies are just a starting point and it's always a good idea to consult with a tax professional who can provide personalized advice based on your specific situation. Well folks, that's my time for today. I appreciate you all for tuning in. I hope that these tax saving strategies help you to maximize your savings as a small business owner. If you have any questions or any comments, make sure you go ahead and drop them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to get that info back to you. If you're looking to understand some of the common tax forms used when filing your taxes, check out this video right here. Well, that's all for right now. And as always, I love you. God loves you. He smiles when he sees you and he sees you all the time. So he's always smiling. So why aren't we? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys on the next one. God bless you all.